Morning, guys. Um, I'm off today. Got to do both school runs. Wipe some work later on tonight, so just physically can't work. I can work between the school runs, but as you know, um, it's just awful <laughs> working between the two school runs. I just don't like it. So feeling a bit ropey still off the vaccine, so I'm having a day day off. It doesn't happen very often. Um, but obviously, I'm free subscribers off. A thousand. When I hit a thousand, I can go live. So if you haven't already subscribed and you're watching this video, it's completely free. Just click the subscribe button on, underneath this video. It says subscribe, click it. It'd be great. Listen, I contacted Uber today. Because as you are aware, there's been an update. Oh, you might not be aware. I'm not telling you now anyway. With mid-trip changes. Right, so as you know, Uber now is fixed. Obviously, it's been for a while fixed there. So someone books a job, say, from town to the edge of town, but all green, right? Uber's algorithm will calculate how long it's going to take in the current traffic, the distance it's travelled, any tolls to be considered, and blah, 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 blah. Get all the calculations up and then offer the customer a price. And then if they are happy to pay it, they accept the price. The price comes to you, 25% off, you accept the job. Job done. That's the price you're going to pay. Right. And as you know, um, there's been, like, in the past, there's been a bit unknown. Who knows what? Like, what's going to happen? Because if a customer gets in the car and then halfway through the journey, they either add a stop or they um, add another, go further on or go back. And everyone's wondering, like, What's the price change? Um, does the surge stay? Does the surge go? Because I know a lot of customers will try it and they'll have a surge job from town, to say Broad Green as an example, and then when they're near the house, they'll update the destination to like two doors down, thinking that it's going to get rid of the surge or it might get rid of the surge. No one ever knew. So when you pick up a passenger and you get passengers updated trip, you're just thinking, oh, what's going on here? Do you know what I mean? Uh, so, it was yesterday or the day before, they've brought in an update now. So, similar thing that happens in the past. If a customer gets in the car and wants to add a stop or change what was pre-agreed, right? normally it just changes and, and you find out if you're in more or less at the end of the trip. Where now, if the customer is in your car and they update the trip, so you say they add a stop and go, four miles further, say they want to go to the friend's house instead of their house, they'll get offered a new price and then they have to choo choose to accept that new price. And then when the trip gets updated on our end, it'll pop up with the new price, which I think is brilliant. Obviously, the unknown is not very nice. And now, obviously, we can make more choices. So what Uber's come out and said is, they can either stop or they can obviously do whatever they normally do. But it gets offered the price to the customer and then they can choose to accept that new price, cancel the change, so just go to the original destination with the original price or end the journey early, um, which I don't, I can't see a point why they want to do that. Um, but that's dead good. But then my worry was, was, was the update it says we recalculate, right? That was the word they used. So halfway through this journey, they'll, they'll do a change and the price will recalculate and offer them a new price for that journey and then we'll get the updated version. My first thought was, hold on a minute, it's a free free time surge in town. They drive to the outskirts of town, update the destination, recalculates the surge of that current area or at that current time, and the surge is gone, do we lose that surge job? So I um, phoned up, um, contacted Uber, and uh, asked them straight out, I went, listen, if a customer is on a surge trip, and they change the destination, and you recalculate the price, will that surge recalculate as well, or will the surge stay? And the guy said, the surge will stay. That's one thing that doesn't get recalculated, that's set on the journey time, which is brilliant news, um, which I just think is obviously fantastic. So, 
as you'll know now when the customer updates the um, destination you'll see it pop up so when it normally pops up a uh, customer changed that uh, changed destination or updated app it'll have a new price and it'll just pop up i had one yesterday uh the job going to manchester he changed the destination like round the corner from where he was going because he was meeting someone and then he's going straight to site and it was round the corner he was in the same area anyway and um when he updated the the uh, trip it popped up with the money and it was around the same price because he's going around the same area um but yeah i just thought it was mad when it popped up with the new price i was like oh right that's how much it's costing you know what i mean so it is working it is in play but the good news is your surge is safe which is um brilliant and then while i was on contacting them i asked them about waiting time i went I said to him, there's got to be a, a button, uh, like the local firms, where we can click waiting. If the if if we're doing excessive waiting during the trip, that hasn't been calculated in the um, in the um, uh, the fixed fare, original fixed fare. As an example, when that fellow was moving house the other day, he took one box into his flat and asked me to wait. While he comes and drops that box off and comes back to get the second box because he couldn't carry both boxes. And me being me, I was like, oh yeah, no worries, mate. But he literally must have been about 12, 15 minutes because he had to get a lift up to a 14 floor and a block of flats, come back down and come out. This this scenario, he gave me a five pound tip, which is dead generous of him and I was dead happy. But when I completed that job, it was the same price. Um, the fixed fare. So I done that twelve minutes in Uber's eyes for free. Uh, I didn't obviously get charged. I uh, did, didn't alter the price. So I asked them, "Is are you looking at adding a waiting button so we can just add the waiting time if we're like excessively waiting on a scenario and he went at the moment we're not looking at adding a waiting button." Um, he said, "But uh, well, I have took your feedback on board and obviously I'll pass that on to the um, the correct people." So hopefully that'll come out in the future because I think that's definitely a big one. Um, I've, you know where they've had the stops on a journey and then you've got out to a shop but they've been in the shop for like 10 minutes. But but Uber might have only added three minutes onto the journey you know, when they're fixed first. So that means you're doing seven minutes free. So it would be nice if we can maybe get some type of timer. So if they had a stop, it'll have like a three minute timer where it's already been paid for. And then anything over the three minutes, the guys get charged, start get charging waiting time. Something like that would be brilliant from Uber. But at the moment, they're not looking at bringing that out. But great news on the surge price will stay. Um, definitely, I've got it. What I'll do is I'll uh, screenshot. At the end of this video, I'll screenshot the email of the um, the mid fair adjustment email I got. And I'll um, screenshot the conversation I had with Uber and put that in it so you can see it with your own eyes, do you know what I mean? Um, but listen, guys, thanks very much for watching all my videos. Much appreciated. Uh, I think I'm going to go out tomorrow morning, stupid early, and try and catch up and save this week because I've had a lazy week. I've done like two hours yesterday. I'm having to, today off. I think I only worked about three hours, was it? Four hours on the Tuesday. And then I just done a normal day. So I am quite far behind. I'm on about 280 quid for the week, which is quite bad for me since I don't really work weekends. So I might have to do a big Saturday night or something. But yeah, no worries, guys. Listen, I'll see you on the next one. And hopefully this information has helped you. Um, and maybe set your mind at ease that if you do update the app, your search stays exactly where it should be. All right, guys. Listen, catch you later, yeah?